Welcome back to 13C. Today we're taking a look at Savage B22. Now this model is the FVSR and that uh, shows it as you see it here uh, with this stock and threaded barrel configuration. It is threaded, uh, the front barrel here, half by 28. Fit your standard muzzle devices as well as uh, it's brand new in from our friends for testing uh, Silencer Shop. This is the Erector from Q. We're going to be running this on here a little later. Uh, we did a full review on this Erector earlier in the week. Uh, go ahead and check that out if you'd like. We will we'll be doing some accuracy testing on here today and some repeatability for taking it on and off uh, separate from what we're doing uh, with the B22 here. Uh, it should be pretty interesting. Definitely stick around for that if you followed over from that other video. So some other features here, I mentioned the threading on the barrel. This is a 16 and a quarter inch carbon steel barrel. Uh, it's got a twist, 16 twist rate, as well as coming with your rail on it straight from the factory. It also features the Accu Trigger. Now, if you're not familiar with the Accu Trigger, uh, this is a pretty nice trigger system, uh, especially for uh, rifles that come in around this price point here. Uh, it's fully adjustable. When I got uh, mine home, uh, when I picked it up for my FFL, I put a trigger pull on it and it came in at about two pounds and one ounce uh, from the factory. So very nice, very light, very crisp. Uh, it is fully adjustable. You can get in there and adjust it however you'd like. Honestly, it came from the factory. I'm more than happy with the way it is right here as you see it here today. I'm also going to be letting my girls shoot this uh, and do some training with it as well uh, and to hone some of their marksmanship skills. So I don't want to set that trigger quite too light for them just because they may not be ready for it. But uh, this two pounds on here is very nice, very crisp. And as you'll see from some of the groupings we're going to get later on, it uh, does a very nice job. The safety on it is ambidextrous. It's right here. It has to be cocked to be able to engage the safety, pull it down push it up the red mark will appear and you're ready to fire we are unloaded right now uh, it does have a safety here on the trigger you can see right there that little dingus that sticks forward you can't pull the trigger back unless you depress that dingus first which is a nice safety feature and it takes 10 round detachable magazine uh, factory magazine here the optic on here is a Bushnell a22 it's a rimfire optic series and it's a 61 3510 B. Uh, that stands for the drop zone turret in here. If you look on the back, and I'll put up a picture of it, you can actually rotate this. Once you zero it at 50, you can rotate this up for 75, 100, 125 yards so that when you're out on the range, you know your distance, you just dial it in. It'll automatically adjust your turret right where you want it to be, your crosshairs, and you're ready to go on uh, the standard high velocity ammunition, uh, which is nice to see. It also has some replaceable uh, turrets as well. So it has a standard one like you see it here. You can drop in and this will do your uh, standard graduations. And then a blank one as well here so that you could write on here whatever you wanted to. So let's say instead of doing uh, 50, 75, 100, 125, you wanted to mark this out for your specific subsonic ammunition uh, that you may be using through this, you can do that as well. This is three and a half to 10 by 36 millimeter, and it also features inside of here a drop zone 22 reticle. So what that'll do for you is, it has some graduations, and I'll put a picture up here in the side, so that if you don't have time to rotate this to whatever uh, distance you want, you can actually just aim up and hit those dots as they go down and they'll correspond to your different ranges. Again, that's with high velocity ammunition. Uh, so if you're using subsonic, keep in mind as you go further out past that 50, 75 yard mark, you're gonna start dropping off a little more uh, quickly when you start using some of those subsonic loads. This is both waterproof and fog proof and it weighs in right at 15 ounces. The reticle in this is also in the second focal plane, so when you're using that ranging estimates for that drop zone, uh, make sure that you're paying attention that you're fully zoomed into the 10 power uh, so that that translates appropriately for your drop out at your various distances. Let's get this out onto the range so you can see just what kind of groupings you can expect with this setup. So we've been dealing with that wind for the past few weeks mm -hmm. here, and I think today is gonna to be our best bet before the storm rolls in. We've got a calm in the storm. So we've got a uh, champion sight and target down range here. Uh, we're using uh, Federal Premium Hunter Match ammunition. This is their uh, 40 grain match hollow point, 1200 feet per second. Uh, we're going to fire uh, five rounds at the top left bowl. Then we're going to put on the Q from Erector and fire five rounds at the top right bowl and see how that affects our point of impact. And we're going to get into some other stuff as well uh, along those lines too. So let's get started.
Now, let's put on the erector from Q. And this time we're gonna be shooting that top right bull. So here we are downrange with the Savage B-22. We've got our first five rounds right here. This is that Federal Premium Hunter Match. We have one round here, we have two here, and two more right here for a total of five. That's a nice grouping right there. And then our Erector, when we added that on here, we have our five rounds right here. Um, looks like our grouping opened up a little bit and we shifted down maybe half to, uh, a half an inch or so. So we're gonna take it off, put it back on and fire it into this one and then come back and take it from there. Here's our next grouping out of the B-22 with the erector. Remember we've taken off, uh, put it back on after firing this grouping and tighten that up quite a bit. So uh, looks like I'm getting back to my fundamentals here, which is nice. Tighten it up quite a bit. It looks like we've shifted over to the left a little bit, but that would put us right where we should be right here. So I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take uh, half of the baffles off. I'm gonna fire it with five, five baffles on it and uh, fire into this bowl right here and see what we come up with. So we've taken our erector, cut it in half, removed five baffles. We have five on there. Same hunter match ammo from Federal Premium. And we're gonna go into that bottom left hand bowl. Let's go take a look. Go. So here's our next five round grouping with the Erector in the five baffle configuration. This uh, fifth round out here, this flyer is definitely gonna be shooter error on my part. I felt that one as I let it go. So uh, we'll, we'll drop that one out. We've got one, two, three, and four right here. Nice tight grouping on that. 10 baffle configuration. This is our 10 baffle configuration on and off. I'm gonna take the 10 baffles. I'm gonna swap them up inside like I just taken them apart, cleaned them, put them back together in kind of random order. However, they go back together and then fire one five more round grouping right here in the center to see how that affects everything. So as I mentioned before, the baffles in this erector are not marked. They don't appear to be keyed in any way. Uh, so I've mixed up their configuration, obviously maintaining the end cap at the end, uh, the, uh, the uh, threaded the half by 28 thread adapter at the rear, and then the stainless steel blast baffle, which has to be uh, up against that in the rear's most uh, configuration there. Uh, the other nine, though, can kind of go wherever you so choose. So that's what we have. We're going to fire this configuration now at the center bowl and see if that's affected our point of impact change at all. And we are still at 50 yards here right now. The uh, same federal premium hunter match ammunition as well. So here we are down at 50 yards after changing around the baffle stack configuration of the Q Erector and kind of mixing up their location and then putting it back onto that Savage B-22. 
So we've got one, two, three, four, and five right here. And uh, you can tell, so here was our initial control group, five rounds uh, without anything on the end of the muzzle. Here was our first five round grouping with the Q and its full 10 configuration. Here it was, full 10 configuration coming off, going back on. Here it was with five round, with five baffles. And then here is our last one in 10 baffles, but with the order of them mixed up, obviously maintaining the uh, proper position for the thread adapter, the stainless steel blast baffle, and obviously the end cap. If you're interested in seeing more on the Q Erector, it'll be the video that was published just before this one. So definitely go ahead and check that out. If you're interested in seeing more of the Savage B-22 Bushnell Rimfire combo, uh, go ahead, take a moment to subscribe. You will be seeing this again in the future. Uh, we're going to use it as one of our hosting platforms for some of the 22 cans we have coming in in the future. Uh, speaking of subscribing, we really appreciate it. And also, YouTube's changed their algorithm yet again. So if you wouldn't mind taking a moment, go to our main page, and there'll be a little bell up in the corner. You can click on that. That's to get notifications when we post a new video. So you guys know we only post about one video a week. Uh, so you're not going to get spammed out with a bunch of notifications. But otherwise, you may not see when we have a new video in our subscription feed unless you actually take the time to get notifications uh, from this point forward. They're Basically, they're doing like, uh, like Facebook did in the past, which is really unfortunate. Uh, speaking of which, you have any questions, you can leave them down below or at Facebook, facebook.com forward slash gun reviews. Uh, again, there you want to select get notifications or see first during your news feed. We post maximum once a day, so we won't be flooding your feed there either. Uh, in addition to that, we're on Instagram. We're at 13C Gun Reviews. Uh, another way you can support the channel, uh, sorry, we're still not doing a Patreon. Uh, we appreciate all the inquiries, but please, you can continue to show your support going to 13C.us. You'll find links to articles and blogs and stuff like that uh, on there, as well as a link to our swag shop up at the top where you can get uh, some limited edition 13C fight soap. Uh, we collaborated with them on smells fantastic uh, as well as uh, some patches if you want to show your support for the channel that way uh, also thanks again to federal and uh, if you want to see more on that q erector like i said it was a video right before this one thank you to uh, silencer shop as well you guys are awesome we appreciate the uh the look at some of these brand new cans you guys uh, afford us and our viewership so thanks so much take care guys we'll talk soon